Welcome to the third of four of Melbourne Symphony Orchestra's Jams for Juniors Online. Thank you for joining us. My name's Karen Kiriaku, and I'm really looking forward to jamming with you today, wherever you might be. In our jams, we learn how to play our instruments alongside the musicians of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. We'll be continuing our musical journey around the world thanks to our principal partners, Emirates. Today, we're travelling to Germany. Shortly, we'll do some warm-ups, sing a song, and then practice the music so that we can play together with the musicians. The music we're playing today is from Beethoven's Fifth Piano Concerto, also known as the Emperor Concerto. Beethoven dedicated this concerto to his friend, pupil and patron, Archduke Rudolf, who first performed the work in 1811. Before we start, I want to introduce you to the musicians of the orchestra. Playing the piano is Lee Harold. Andrea Keeble is playing the violin. Playing the cello is Dan Smith. Rosie Savage is playing the French horn. Jennifer Timmons is playing the flute. And Rob Allen is playing percussion. If you go to the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra's website, you can learn more about these instruments. Head to the resource library in the Education Resources menu. Before we play, we need to warm up, just like musicians always do. In a moment, I want you to give your hands a good shake, shake your legs too, then have a big stretch high and a big stretch all the way to your toes so that you're ready and nicely warmed up to play music with us. Make sure you've got plenty of space around you before you start so that you don't bump into anybody. You can pause the video while you warm up. Have a seat now. We're going to sing a song, and in this song, you can hear all the different sounds that the instruments make. You can download the lyrics to this song by clicking on the link in the comment section below. I went to hear the musicians today I heard a cello along the way How do you think it sounds when it's played? I went to hear the musicians today I heard a flute along the way How do you think it sounds when it's played? I went to hear the musicians today I heard a French horn along the way How do you think it sounds when it's played? I went to hear the musicians today Heard a violin along the way How do you think it sounds when it's played? I went to hear the musicians today I heard a piano along the way How do you think it sounds when it's played? I went to hear the musicians today Heard a timpani along the way How do you think it sounds when it's played? Concerto is a work of orchestral music that features a soloist. The music is written to show off the technique and skills of a particular musician or instrument. A concerto usually has three movements, and today we'll explore the first and the last movement of Beethoven's Emperor Concerto, written for solo, piano and orchestra. Ludwig van Beethoven was a German composer. He was born in 1770 and was, and still is, one of the most famous and influential composers of all time. At a relatively young age, Beethoven began to lose his hearing and eventually became profoundly deaf. Because of this, he gave up conducting and performing in public, but continued to compose, and many of his most notable works come from this period. The Emperor Concerto remains the most well-known and frequently performed of Beethoven's five piano concerti. Let's get our instruments ready. Some of you may have already made your own instruments, but if you'd like to make your own shaker, you can download the instructions by clicking on the link in the comment section below. If you didn't get a chance to make an instrument, you can simply clap along with me or use body percussion, maybe drumming on your knees. 
the first thing to practice with our instruments is how to start and how to stop the sound. My signal to start looks like this, and this is my signal to stop. Let's try together. <sighs> Good job. Now that we've practiced starting and stopping the sound, we're going to practice changing that sound from soft to loud and back to soft again. I want you to start making a very tiny shake. Good job. Now we'll learn how to play together in time. You can count the beats out loud as we play them. Start with five beats. Five beats, ready, go. Four beats, ready, go. Three beats, ready, go. Two beats, ready, go. One beat, ready, go. And now I'm going to mix it up a little bit, so make sure you're watching. Now you have all the skills that you need to play through the music of the Emperor Concerto with the musicians of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. We'll start by exploring the first movement. This movement starts with a series of big chords played by the orchestra, and the piano plays some rather fancy music in between. We'll play along with these chords by making long sounds on our instruments. Be sure to enjoy the piano in between our big shakes. <sighs> The violin takes the main melody in the next section and will respond with groups of three beats. Let's hear how that fits with the music. One, two, three. One, one, and stop. Good job. In the next section, the French horn and the violin have a conversation, each playing four descending notes. We'll listen to the horn and we'll play our four beats with the violin. <laughs> the last section together, we need to do a series of shakes and stops and then play this rhythm. I'm the king, I'm the king. Let's try. Shake, one, two, three, four, we shake. One, two, three, four, shake and stop. I'm the king, I'm the king. And then that happens again. I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm the king. I'm the king. It's time now to stand up so that we can perform the first movement of the Emperor Concerto all the way through together. <gasps>
the king. I'm the king. I'm the king. One more time. I hope you really enjoyed that. You can sit down now while we practice the next movement of the Emperor Concerto. The third movement is in rondo form, which means there's one main theme that we hear several times with different themes played in between, but we always return back to that main theme. So in our main theme, the A section, the piano starts, and then we come in with a short shake, a long shake. I am the emperor. I am the emperor. Let's try that with the music. <gasps> piece is a rondo, we need to have some contrasting or different music played after the section that we just heard. We're not going to use Beethoven's music for this, we're going to make up our own. I'll tell you what you need to do when we get to each of these sections in the music. So it's time to stand up again as we perform the final movement of Beethoven's Emperor Concerto. first new theme, the B section, we'll be playing a start and stop game. Make sure you're watching. <gasps> new theme, the C section, we're going to copy the rhythms that the musicians play. The drum will play along with you.
thank you so much for joining us at Jams for Juniors Online today. It's been wonderful playing music with you. Before we say goodbye, let's say a big thank you to all the musicians of the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra who brought the music to you today. For more fun videos and activities, feel free to explore the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra's YouTube channel. We look forward to seeing you back again next time.